The NFL draft is in just two days, and at NDSU, Colin, it's gone from Wentz, Stick, and Lance to Raidens, Volson, and Malk. Yeah, those three buys in alone would make quite the offensive line. And WDAY's Logan Campbell tells us how NDSU linemen are becoming their biggest NFL export. They don't plan on going to the NFL. They just show up, they do the work, and try to be the best that they can be. And, you know, the, the rest of it just takes care of itself. It might not be the plan, but NDSU offensive linemen are becoming common sights in the NFL. I remember freshman year, fall camp, uh, Dylan Ravens and I were standing next to each other, and Coach Polisek, he was our offensive coordinator at the time, he came up to us and he's like, you guys are going to play in the NFL. The secret sauce to successful linemen? Starts in the weight room with strength and conditioning coach Jim Kramer. We have the best strength coach in the country. Coach Kramer is the best there is. He takes a lot of 250-pound North Dakota offensive linemen and turns them into some good football players. Take the 2019 offensive line, for example. You have Dylan Radins, Nash Jensen, Zach Johnson, Cordell Volson, and sixth man Cody Mauk all NFL caliber players. You're going to have potentially five out of six guys in the NFL from an FCS um, school. You know, that that doesn't happen at Power 5 schools. Uh, NDC is a unique school that the offensive line is like the heart and soul of that football program. It started in 2021 with Dylan becoming the highest tackle drafted out of NDSU. The year following, his roommate Cordell heard his name called in the fourth. This week, their best friend and teammate Cody could be the third straight lineman to have his name called. It's crazy to think that we're going to have two North Dakota guys, you know, born and raised small town North Dakota, drafted back-to-back -back years and playing in the NFL. NDSU might want to start thinking about rebranding from QBU to O-Line U. For WDUI Sports, I'm Logan Campbell. And we'll have draft coverage all week long, and the draft will be live on WDAY starting on Thursday. We've